Okay, so we're going to talk about car safes. So the first point is, why would you even need to have a car safe? Well, because life. Um, if you're a concealed carrier that's actually carrying your gun on you day to day, you're eventually going to get into a situation where you need to take your gun off. You need to have a safe place to put it. Putting it under your car seat, putting it in the center console, like those are just not okay options. That is not what a responsible concealed carrier does. You need to think about if someone breaks into your car and steals your gun, that gun is your responsibility and what that person does with it is on you. Um, if you have kids, even if it's not your own kids, if you have a situation where you end up having kids in your car, it is not okay to just have a gun stashed somewhere in your car where it's not secured. If every gun owner kept their guns locked up, we wouldn't hear these tragedies, right? So it's your responsibility. It's the right thing to do. So now let's talk about what some of the options look like. Um, if you have a car that has a locking glove box, that can work, but not every car has a locking glove box. One of our SUVs does not. Um, so in that case, you have to have something like this. But even if you do have a locking glove box, if your locked glove box, if you leave your car running while you run in and you have other passengers in your car, but it's cold out or it's hot out, so you're leaving the car running for them, you left the keys in the car, that gun in the locked glove box isn't really secure anymore. Um, also, even like at home, you know, my kids could potentially get the keys to my car and go out to check the car if they like left something in there or whatever. And if I had a gun that I, you know, inadvertently left in the car, my kids could have access to it. So for me, a locking glove box just doesn't cut. It doesn't meet my standards of safety and the rules that I want to have in place for me and my family. Okay, so let's talk about these safes here. This particular safe is made by Bulldog. I started using a Bulldog safe when I first started concealed carrying. I actually had a keyed version. I had to keep track of a little key and I'm not the best at keeping track of stuff. So that didn't work out well for me. So when they came out with a combination version, I definitely switched over to this. I have been using Bulldog Safe since the very beginning. I have no complaints. I think it's a solid product. Uh, I literally, I mean, this thing lives in my car. Now this one's one we use for demo, but I have the identical one that lives in my car. It doesn't come out of my car. So this particular one, it has the combination here, and then I have it set to all zeros. So let me put it on the zeros, zeros, and then I'll just twist that and it'll come open. Okay, and I have a dummy gun down here. If I put my gun in there and then I'd lock it up and I'd twist it back and change the combo. So now my gun would be secure in here. This comes with this tethering cord. That's standard, it comes with it. And so this is what it looks like. It has a loop on one end and then this hard metal piece on the other end. So you put it through there, you get this circle. Now I would put this under something like uh, some metal in my under my seat somewhere, right? And then this end I would close into the safe. Now, of course, this is not, you know, they, someone could get into it if they wanted to, but what we want to do is just deter them. We want to make it not easy. So see that little hard metal goes into that notch and then when I close it up okay so if this was in my car someone couldn't just smash my window and grab this lock box it's a little bit more secure so I personally use this brand Bulldog but Amazon Basics came out with their own version that's practically identical so this is the dimensions of the Bulldog one. It's 9.7 by 6.5 by 1.8. The Amazon Basics has three different sizes. The large, the large is actually the smallest, but the large is just a tad shorter 
than the Bulldog one. Its retail price, though, is about $10 less, so it's $19.99 for the Amazon Basics one. The knob for the combination, it's a little bit different, so it's all set to zero, so it's like a twist. Well, yeah, so it twists like that, and then you open it up. Okay. And it actually, it has that same notch where you put the tether cord, but the tether cord that comes with the Amazon one is like, it's on steroids compared to the one that comes with the Bulldog one. I think the one with the Bulldog one is just fine, but I'll show you the difference. Okay, so you can see the difference in these. So the black one comes with the Amazon and the grayish one comes with Bulldog. It is significantly thicker and heftier. Um, but I think that the Bulldog one is just fine too. Okay, so all of the Amazon, the three Amazon ones all come with that same tether cord. The next size up is called the extra large. Let me get it in there. So we have large and extra large. If you look at the dimensions, it is literally that 0.2 inches longer, the same across, and then a tenth of an inch thicker. I'm not sure why they would make these two sizes. It seems a little redundant. It seems like they could have just made the extra large and not even bothered with this one. I do think that I would go with this one for that extra 0.1 of an inch in thickness because I put my gun inside the holster in my safe typically so it sometimes i have to really push down on it to get it to lock so i'll take any tenth of an inch i can get um, so i definitely think if you're if you're trying to decide between the large and the extra large i would just go with the extra large they're pretty identical though okay so there is a third size and they call it the xxl and it is a lot bigger than these So here is the XX, make sure I'm in the picture. Okay, this is the XXL. It is only three bucks more than the extra large, but it's super much bigger. So you can see the dimensions. So instead of 9.7 high, it is 11.5 high. It's uh, a little bit wider across. And then it's a lot thicker in depth. So let's look at that on a side view. Let's see if I can line them up. Uh, it's hard to get in the picture, but it definitely, it's 1.9 inches versus 2.5 inches. So it's a lot higher, a lot thicker, um, which would be nice for, like I was saying, if you're gonna put your gun inside of its holster. So a lot of times I leave my gun in the holster. I take it off, put the whole thing in my holster in my car. And so it's kind of tough to get it to close. I have to really push down on it and then I can turn it and then change the combination. So now it's in there good. But I had to push down to get it in there. I don't particularly want this safe in my car. We ordered one of each so that we could do a comparison um, and we use them as a demo in our classes, but I wouldn't personally use this on a regular basis, even though it's bigger and it seems like, hey, just get the bigger one because it's only three bucks more and it's so much more space. But the big problem for me is it's not practical for me for day to day because it won't fit under the seat in my van just upgraded and got a new minivan that has heated seats. And so I think all the stuff for the heated seats, like I lost the space under my seats and there's like no space under the seats. So I can barely get my bulldog one. I actually can't get it under the seat. I have to kind of put it sideways to get it under there. So why do I care about that? Well, most of the time, the safe is in my car and it's empty um, because I have my gun on my body. The safe is there in case 
I need to take my gun off. I know I'm going to have a safe place to put it, that I'm being responsible and knowing that. Um, but it doesn't, my gun doesn't spend a lot of time in the safe. But if someone saw that safe sitting on the floor of my passenger side, then they thought, hey, there's a safe, there must be something valuable in it, and they smash my window and steal my empty safe, and then I'm left with the hassle and the mess of a busted window so they could steal my empty safe. Um, so I want this safe to be hidden and out of view. Just makes sense to me. Here's where I think this would be useful. So, you know, I've lived and I've learned. There was times when I needed my safe, but it wasn't in my car because I had used it to carry my gun inside and put it away and then forgot to take it back out to my car. So I had to put an end to that. And so I have a strict rule for myself that I do not let that safe leave my car. It lives in my car. I'm not allowed to use it to bring my gun inside. I have to take the gun out, put it back on my body, carry the gun inside, okay? To put it in its safe and all that. Um, the only exception I make to that is if we're traveling. If we're staying in a hotel, then I do use that as my temporary safe in the hotel room so that I'm being safe and responsible. Um, if we're going down to the, if we're staying at a beach hotel and we're going down to the beach, obviously I'm not taking my gun, you know, down to the beach. I can't just leave my gun in the hotel room unsecured. And I also have kids, so I got to think about that and how I'm keeping my gun to keep it safe for the kids and all that in the hotel room. So this could be a really great solution when traveling and having it in a hotel room, um, but not day to day in my car, just not practical. I actually, when, when we travel, I do take this into the hotel room and then I'll put all our extra cash, I'll put my wedding ring, um, I'll put my card keys, I'll put everything in here, like when we're going out or going down to the beach or going to a theme park or wherever we're going, uh, I feel a little safer leaving my valuables in my own personal safe instead of the safe in the hotel room. Um, so the big one could be really good for that. For only 25 bucks, I might just use that when we travel. The combination, when you're using a combination, you got to make sure that you're keeping that secure. If you have kids around, they are very, very cunning. So make sure that you're always guarding that because as soon as someone figures out the combination to your safe, it's no longer a secure place to store your gun. Um, and one other point is, at, or a tip, is the tether cord. Um, I did have someone riding in my car and I told you I keep this under my passenger seat um, and the tether cord is just kind of permanently attached to something under my seat there and she did trip getting out of the car. Her foot got caught into this. So it's kind of a tripping hazard, unfortunately. So kind of think about trying to keep it tucked back and out of the way as much as possible so that no one gets hurt. I really hope that you'll get a safe. It's such a small investment. We're talking $19.99, $21.99, $24.99, or $30 for the Bulldog one. I personally like supporting gun brands. I like supporting Bulldog, um, but you know, it, it definitely is cheaper to get the Amazon brand as well. And it they're pretty identical in the functionality. I, I think you can't go wrong either way. Um, but you know, it, it's a small investment to prevent someone that is unauthorized from getting access to your gun and it's the right thing to do.